Hello Seahawks and welcome to Hawk Nation News. I'm Becca. And I'm Isaac. So and we are here to bring you your news for the day. All right guys, Horry County Schools will make up the two instructional days missed on Monday, October 5th and Tuesday, October 6th when record setting rainfall and flooding closed schools. As indicated on the 2015 and 2016 student calendar, District makeup days are on Monday, October 12th and Monday, January 4th. So, see you at school on those days. Makeup pictures are going to be on November 9th for underclassmen and seniors if you guys missed them. So, if you have any questions, talk to Mr. Glenn. And November 24th, beginning at 10 a.m., a midshipman from the United States Naval Academy will give a presentation for those interested and qualified to attend the USNA. Any non-JROTC student interested in attending this presentation can sign up in the guidance office. Varsity's boys basketball tryouts will be held on Monday, November the 2nd at 6 a.m. and after school. Junior varsity boys basketball tryouts will be on November 2nd after school from 3.30 to 5.30. The location will be determined prior to November 2nd. All Key Club members need to see Ms. L before October 29th, which is this Thursday. The uh, National Honor Society induction at 6 p.m. in the auditorium on, no on October 29th, and all new members and current members must attend. And... All right, guys, you have an opportunity. All seniors and juniors have an opportunity on Wednesday, October 28th. Ms. Liebman will be hosting a help session on writing the ideal college admissions or scholarship essay with pointers on what to include and what to remove. Additionally, she will go over admissions interviews and how to make a great verbal first impression with your future college. The session will begin immediately after school in room 8207 and all juniors and seniors are welcome to come. National Art Honor Society officers will only meet Wednesday, October 28th, immediately following school in Mrs. Thornton's room. All NAHS members will meet on Thursday, October 29th, immediately following school in Ms. Thornton's room. On October 30th, visit Ms. Thornton's classroom in V100 before first block to get a pass to sign up to come during your specific lunch to get your face painted on Celebration Day of the Dead, aka... Dia de los Muertos, only $4. Okay guys, so don't forget the first ever Seahawk Zombie Walk is this Thursday, October 29th, and with approval from your fourth block teacher, you can pay $5 and come down to the theater room during fourth block to get your zombie makeup on. Right after school, we'll be walking over to Broadway at the beach to do our walk, and special edition zombie sh shirts will be on sale <laughs> all next week. Look for the table during lunches. Shirts are $12. See Mr. London or Mrs. Pierce for more details. You'll need permission to... You'll need a permission slip to participate on the walk. And boys basketball is having a Chipotle Spirit Night this Wednesday, October 28th, between 5 and 9 p.m. Bring a flyer, show it on your phone, or mention it, and 50% of the proceeds will go to boys basketball. Email Carolyn Swanson at SeahawkBooster at gmail.com for a flyer. MBHS Fall Blood Drive is going to be on Friday, October 30th from 9 to 2 p.m in the MBHS mini gym. If you guys want to give blood, sign up on Monday or Tuesday during your lunch. You may give blood if you're 16 years old for a parent with parents' consent, or 17 without. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Beck or Mrs. Owens, save a life and give blood. And mock trial team meets every Friday afternoon at 3.30 in room C208. See, Mc see Mrs. Buckner if you have any questions. Okay, well, jeez. All students driving to school must purchase a parking pass. The cost is $20. I'm saying nothing about it. See the bookkeeper before, before school starts or during lunch to get your parking pass. It is very necessary. <laughs> it's for the whole year. Ground Zero will be meeting on Wednesday mornings from 7.45 to 8.15 a.m. in the room C210. Please join us for light breakfast and devotion. See Ms. Corey in C210, Mr. Daff in B202, or Mrs. Vipperman in A211 if you guys have any questions. And seniors, don't forget to check the MBHS website 
regularly for scholarships. This information can be found under MEHS Guidance Scholarships. And for all your Seahawk athletic updates, practice schedules, and game schedules, please visit littlebeachseahawkathletics.com. Also sign up on the website for alerts pertaining to your specific sport matches. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching, and have a great day, Seahawks. Oh, finally, it's over. <laughs>
That's what happened to your face, the ghost has you? Yeah, that's what happened to my face, man. The ghost, he bit me. I'm gonna go get him, so. <laughs> okay, guys. Y'all believe in ghosts? Yeah, I believe in ghosts. Did you hear about that two dead kids in the auditorium? Yeah, man. It's crazy. I heard about one. I didn't know there was two. You scared by it, man? I'm scared now. Yeah. It's sunny here in Myrtle Beach. But not out there in Georgetown County. Hi, my name is Adam Alon, and I'm here, and I represent National Honor, Ten National Technical Society. Mind you, not Honor Society, there's a difference. But anyway, I'm here to tell you about, about our project we're doing for our community called, well, it doesn't really have a name, but we'll just call it um, Andrew Flood Victims, I guess. But anyway, Basically what's going on is, you remember about that flood a few weeks back? Well, it did a lot of damage to Georgetown County, specifically Andrews High School, with an S on it. As of right now, the students over there are pretty much homeless, most of them got destroyed, and, well, since we're neighbors with them, we decided to help them out. So as of this month, we're going to start like a, like a community service first, so we're asking you to donate new clothes, and I say it with, with extreme of extreme importance and new. I mean new, not old, not mud, nothing that can make someone sick. New. I'm talking about new. And if you don't, if you can't donate any new clothes, you can donate cash. So here's how it works. Uh, there are two places you can go. One, you can donate at this website. I'm gonna put around here. Or, or, or you just like it be a little personal, then just go to Mr. Clary room at C104. Not upstairs downstairs because 104 remember the one guys now now it could be any more cash it could be one dollar two dollars three dollars etc but we but I prefer but we prefer more than just a penny guys come on we're helping flood victims for crying out loud but we're here to catch you have to donate all of this before November 3rd that's when the processes go through basically so right now just if you want to donate cash or donate new clothes, just go to Mr. Clary room at C104. They're going to be labeled in the boxes. Um, you'll, see them, you'll, see them, you'll see them when you see them. It'll be a big box for the clothes and a small tip jar for the money, basically. So let's just help out these guys over there. And Well, not over there. There's a lake over there. So anyway, see you guys later.